Hey everybody and welcome to this walkthrough for Resident Evil Village Mercenaries. The Mad Village Level 2 Triple S rank. I'm going to show you how to get the Triple S rank on this stage. But first I'm going to show you something kind of odd. So you'll see here that I actually take a death on Area 4 of this is Mad Village Level 2. I take a death here and uh, still manage to hit the Triple S rank. So this surprised the heck out of me. I thought for sure I'd have to get to the uh, the fifth area and beat it in order to have enough points. But I guess the triple S uh, threshold is right around a million points. But this was a very unsatisfying way to get the triple S rank. So I pretended that it didn't happen. And I uh, went ahead and did a bunch more runs until I finally managed to to beat all five areas and get the triple S rank. And so that's what I'm going to show you in today's walkthrough. Now, if you've been following the other videos in my series, I've, I've, I've done all of them, all of the uh, the mercenary stages, triple S rank. You'll notice uh, some of the strategies are very similar, but because the Mad Village is so long, we have to change up our strategy a little bit. So I am going to upgrade the Lemmy until I have 20,000 Lay left, and then I buy the Wolf Spain for 20,000 Lay. We're going to use the Wolf Spain to take down the particularly tough enemies to conserve our Lemmy ammo and also because it's a lot faster. Now, with the Lemmy, though, normally, if you watched my other level 2 uh, videos, normally I would upgrade the reload speed. Uh, I decided to go for ammo capacity this time because what it meant is that I could take out two of these enemies between reloads instead of just one. And I realized that was a lot faster. I probably should have been doing that in all of my... Uh, all of my playthroughs, all of my level twos. Because, yeah, it was, it's a lot slower to, you know, kill an enemy, reload, kill one enemy, reload. Just like coming through here on level one, there are ten enemies to kill nine of these fire zombies, plus that little bird on the roof that's easy to miss. Leaving that guy alive intentionally, so I can come around here, grab the ability orb, and, uh... Chose Pistol Master. I was tempted to take Assassination Dash for the speed, but I chose Pistol Master. Now, this last one here, if he's aggroed, I always let him step out of the room and come to me. If he's just, sometimes he's just laying on the floor. Of course, don't forget the bird. Uh, sometimes he's just laying on the floor there, in which and he's easy to take out. But if I can hear, if I hear that he's moving around and is aggroed then I let him come to me. Otherwise, you'll step through the door and he'll immediately do a crap ton of damage to you. Taking these armored lichens out with the wolf's bane, when you're taking out the armored lichens, uh, don't aim for the head. It'll knock their helmet off and do 1,500 damage, but it won't kill them. If you aim for their unarmored parts, uh, you can kill them in one shot. It does 5,000 damage. So that's what you want to do. Now these little these little dudes, uh, you I know they don't seem all that dangerous, but you you, you got to be careful. First of all, they're a lot faster than they were in level one. It's one more armored like in here. Boom, he's gone. Okay. Um, basically, always be taking a glance downward to make sure they aren't sneaking up on you. If you're firing at an enemy, even at this even at like this distance. I have had it happen uh, so many times where I'll be firing at an enemy that's just a little ways away and one of these little bastards just sneaks in right under my field of view and starts attacking my knees and just kills me because they do multiple attacks in a row really fast and I mean two hits without using a, a healing um, you know a healing concoction in between two hits and you're down. So, uh, yeah. Don't don't let those little guys fool you. They are dangerous. So, after you take out those two lichens, you should be at 30 enemies. as uh, Just like in level 1. I mean, as with all of, all of the mercenary stages, level 2 is the layout, and the enemy spawns are exactly the same as level 1. Just that the enemies are a lot faster, they're a lot tougher, they're a lot more aggressive. I was very fortunate here to get lightning speed. And I would recommend taking one speed upgrade as early as you can. I know it's tempting to want to go for damage. 
Uh, by the way, one wolf spain shot to the head usually kills that guy. That really big one that spawns. I find he's actually easier to hit the farther away he is, because he lurches around a bit. It can be hard to hit the head. That's even tougher when he gets closer and is, is trying to attack you, but... Anyway. Uh, so, yes. Get a speed upgrade. It's definitely worth it. Uh, not only to, you know, get away from enemies and maneuver around better, but also for your points. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. So here, in between uh, areas one and two, we're going to upgrade the Lemmy completely, except for the ammo capacity. I'm going to leave it at level two, and the reason for that is because I'm saving my money to buy the grenade launcher. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons. Once I'm done with the Wolfsbane, which will be after this stage, actually. So I use the Wolfsbane here throughout area two, and uh, but then I'm done with it. One headshot takes the big guy down. But yes, so after this area, I'll be getting rid of the wolf spain. For these flying guys, you can waste a ton of time and ammo trying to hit these. Um, yes, I, I I don't I don't have a good recommendation. <laughs> try to try to aim and do uh, some targeted shots, but they, they they're just tough to hit, and they don't drop much money, so it's kind of a pain. But as I come up here. Some lichens come running at you. Uh, if you're fast enough, you can take out that first one in enough time to keep your combo. And then I use a pipe bomb there to uh, damage and kill a bunch of them. So that by the time these soul dats get here, I don't have lichens in my face. Now, you got to be careful. you got to be really careful. Uh, you can take those soul dats down with one shot from your wolfsbane on their reactor. Like their uh, weak spot on the front. But... Over on the bridge are some uh, lichen archers with fire arrows that are already shooting at you. And they can hit you even from that distance. And I have had it, I have lost, uh, I've lost runs before to getting struck by a fire arrow from one of these guys. Kind of like that. Um, just as the soul dat's about to attack me. And I, again, two hits in a row in quick succession. Without using a, a healing potion in between, you're you're done. You're just done. So, yeah. Uh, so you gotta watch out. So stay mobile, or you know, stay sheltered behind something so that you don't get hit by a fire arrow while you're dealing with all those lichens and soul dats. I like to take out one of the giants from a distance. This can get a little dicey here because one of your biggest, actually, uh, one of your biggest risks here in uh, in Mad Village. That guy just kind of comes out of nowhere. One of your biggest risks in Mad Village 2 is getting cornered. Just whatever you do, don't get cornered. Using my Wolfsbane here just to use the last of the ammo, because I'm going to be selling it after this. Um, I decided to take Adrenaline because a fickle shooter... Nor normally I... I take one speed upgrade and the rest power upgrades, but sometimes, depending on... Depending on which options are available, sometimes I'll take a health upgrade. And uh, fic uh, Fickle Shooter I didn't find all that helpful, so I decided to take Adrenaline, because it heals me while I'm attacking with a gun. And uh, you'll see coming up where I'm going to need that. <laughs> I'm going to need that. Anyway, well, then. don't get cornered. That's the biggest thing. Do, do not get cornered. Um, always have somewhere to go. And you don't always have somewhere to go. So uh, pick your targets well, and often if you hit that, if you hit the head, you can stagger them. So aim for the head. That'll stagger them, push them back a bit. All right, here. So I sold the wolf spain and bought the grenade launcher with a bunch of explosive ammo. So that's going to be my helpful tool for the next little while here. Basically, all I'm buying from here on out is explosive. Explosive ammo for the grenade launcher. And uh, there's a lot of it available in the store, thankfully. Now, this is the first time I tried this particular strategy of 
damaging all of these first three soul dats um, a little bit and then taking them all out kind of in a clump like this. Uh, and it worked really well. So I'm a little surprised the first time I tried this strategy that it was successful and uh, and that I managed to uh, make it all the way through here. Here it gave me only health options, so I did increase my max HP, which I think actually did save my bacon a couple of times. And, yeah, so normally uh, normally I would start this one off by going after each soul that one at a time, but the number of times I got surrounded and cornered by them, it just wasn't working, so I did try that new strategy. Now... I'm l you'll see I'm less concerned about combos here. I, it's not that I'm unconcerned about combos, but... Uh, the reality is... It's tough enough to survive this without uh, worrying so much about combos. If you can get... Oh, this and this was pretty brutal. I was pretty... I was pretty sure that uh, this was the end of the run right here. But uh, the AI is just fickle enough that they decided it wasn't... <laughs> they decided to retreat on me, and I was able to take them out. So kind of feel like an AI bug uh, saved me there. Not an AI bug. It's wor I think it's working as intended, but AI abuse, I guess. Uh, unintentional, but still AI abuse. You know, in, in Area 1, of course... I kept, I showed you, or level one of this area in that video, I showed you how to keep your combo all the way up this tower. Uh, there's, there's a very specific strategy for it. I didn't worry about that because it's, it's just, it, it's tough enough to try and survive doing that, so. Uh, and if you got three of these rocket soldats when you get up here, I mean, it's just a nightmare, so. And, and uh, you know, you don't need it. If you, if you get complete combos, if you get complete combos in areas one and two, you've got a solid foundation for getting that uh, triple S rank. And I, I think, now, this is very dangerous. I'm using some rockets here. Not that it actually helped all that much, but these guys shooting, shooting at you from in here, they, they can be very deadly, so be very careful in this area. As I was saying, though, like, if you get complete combos like every enemy from beginning to end in both areas one and two you know you're on very solid footing for getting the uh, triple s rank and so here it wasn't so much about about getting the combos i still do try to get of course you know as long of com as big of combos as i can but um but it was mostly about survive kill all of the enemies get that completion bonus and uh and ju but just get to the end and and live through it. So, a lot of the rules that I followed in uh, you know in in the other level two stages, I kind of threw out the window here. Yet another yet another example of where I thought the run was over. So, I mean, this goes. So y y you see that. I mean, this this gameplay was far, far from perfect, and I'm kind of glad for this because uh, it goes to show, I mean, it demonstrates how you can get out of some of these scrapes. I got a little bit lucky there. Uh, it demonstrates how you can get out, out of uh, certain scrapes and how you can deal with some mistakes, but it just goes to show you don't have to play perfectly to get the triple S rank, which I... Uh, at first assumed, and obviously I showed you right at the beginning where I died and uh, still got the triple S rank, so yeah, so you don't have to play perfectly, you just have to really, you just have to have a strategy you just have to have to know how the game works, have a strategy, and you can pull it off But I really found, like, I've, I've got some notes here written for my other, you know, level two on the other stages. And, you know, conserve ammo, uh, balancing speed and power. But a lot of those went out of the window here. Because I, I don't know what it is about this one. But it's just, 
it becomes, uh... Now, I got... Uh, I got drilled so many times in this run. Like... Again, I, I, I'm, I'm astounded that I survived this. I, astounded that I survived this. I forgot about that. Because I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any healing juice here. So this is... Um, this is very precarious. But yeah, the rules become a lot simpler. Complete combos on the first two areas, and then just don't die. That's basically it. And this this rocket soul dad just would not die. You have you have to hit the weak spot to kill these guys. Finally, he exposes himself. <laughs> Phrasing. Uh, finally, he exposes his weak spot there, and uh, I'm able to kill him. But man, that was that got really dicey. Come around the corner. A couple of. Uh, Couple more archers. So I, I'm very thankful that I had those health upgrades here. Otherwise, I definitely would not have survived this. And we made it out alive somehow. And as you can see, we're we're almost at a million points already here. So basically. All I'm going to do here is uh, Choose wisely. buy X. Your life may depend on it. Okay, I did decide to upgrade my ammo capacity one more time. But uh, then basically, with the rest of my money, I'm just buying explosive ammo for the grenade launcher. It's a, it's a thousand lay a piece, which is very affordable at this point if you've been picking up as much money as possible. So this area... It's basically... It's basically the same as uh, when you're going through the single-player game. Uh, you know, a crit and you're playing as Chris Redfield. That rocket sold at... Um, if you happen to, you know, kill the Lycans... And get past that spot before the rocket sold at shows up... Then... Remember to turn around and, and grab them. I demonstrated that in... Level one. Okay, there's that. There's the corpse combustor coming in handy. Corpse combustor ability. Uh, so that was very helpful. So you can get some. I didn't get a full combo from beginning to end here in area four, but you can get some pretty, uh, some pretty big combos if you're fast enough. But you also, it's also very easy to miss enemies here so you you do want sometimes want to take an extra minute to uh, make sure that make sure that you haven't missed anything and my biggest uh my biggest bit of advice there is always be listening it's pretty easy to hear if there's still an enemy alive in the area because they are pretty noisy so always be listening so i knew there was another guy over here because i heard him in my left ear Actually, come to think of it, I think it was that one. I think it's that one standing at the exit there that I that I heard. Anyway, I I, I went and double checked that that I hadn't missed one. Didn't know what to pick here, so I took adrenaline again. It's kind of a kind of a bizarre uh, set of abilities that I was allowed to choose from. So this is me just double checking that I hadn't missed one. I should have known that I was good at 17. 17 enemies killed here. Go to the go to the left here first. Grab this time bonus. There's more enemies in here. And uh, just just watch out because some they're gonna start coming through the gate at you. So they sp like in this. So in this one, the enemies are gonna. They're going to spawn in, and they're going to run right at you, so they kind of follow you. So that's both a blessing and a curse. Once again, it's remarkable that I survived this. Uh, goes to show how those 
those health upgrades can really come in handy. So, um, I don't know. That might you might want to implement that in your strategy for this to get uh, pick up a couple of of health upgrades. Once again, these flying ones are really annoying, but I kind of get stuck on things here, so. <laughs> and they'll explode in midair if you've got corpse, corpse combustor. Once again, three three more rocket soldats here. And, uh, of course, always make sure that your grenade launcher is loaded. So you don't try to fire it and not have any ammunition. When they're about to charge like this, uh, get out of the way. I wasn't able to. But this is, what, 15 times that I've had one of those drills stuck in me? Like... This has been a very painful experience. Let's get past the tractor here. Of course, don't miss this ability upgrade. I have walked straight past it before. And uh, I'm actually going to take slow motion because... It, it slows the enemies down, and it slows them down... Basically, they're kind of all... They're on fast forward here on uh, level 2. Slow motion kind of slows them down to normal speed. So thankful for the health bars. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, once again, this is an example of, you know, don't get cornered. Um, it can get pretty dicey. Especially when you've got one of these guys coming at you. And once again, pretty lucky I was able to kill him in time. There's like 13 million lichens here. So... I've actually almost killed all the enemies that I have to kill, and now, of course, the, the beast spawns in. But right here, over in this area, once again, uh, there's this ability orb, but there's also the pig that you have to kill. Um, oh, here he comes. Now... Yeah. Have one, one, more, one more rocket shot, no other explosives. So, uh, this is example 45 of I really should have died here. But thankfully, I, so, I have adrenaline twice, so I am, my health is getting boosted every time I fire my gun. So, I, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that saved me here. The pig, you can see, is dead there. I, I don't know if he killed him or if the splash damage from one of my rockets killed him or something, but anyway. Uh... The pig is dead, but you do have to make sure you get that pig. It counts as an enemy. Uh, now I'm going to go over here and get the last... Not there, but over here to the house with the red chimney, get the last time orb. The last pickups. All enemies are dead. Now we're just going to get the hell out of here and uh, thank our lucky stars that we're actually alive. Wow. This is me <laughs> taking a moment to ponder the fact that I'm still alive. So, Area 5. Mother Miranda boss fight. Okay, so I upgraded my uh, I upgraded my ammo capacity again. Because I had the money for it. And 58 rockets. Or not rockets, I keep calling them rockets. But 58 explosive ammo for my grenade launcher. And I was not worried about combos here at all. It was just about hit Mother Miranda as hard and fast as possible and don't get hit by her because that would be really bad. Help! 
Now, when uh, when the lichens started spawning, uh, I turned my focus on them a little bit because, uh, quite, I mean, honestly, I didn't want them attacking me from behind while I was trying to hit Mother Miranda. And fortunately, did have did have a healing juice. Conserving my rockets to uh, hit Mother Miranda with them because I didn't want to wind up having to kill her with the Lemmy. However, needed to use a few on these guys. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, it's just it's just chaos here. This is just utter chaos, and I really think watching it back now, I didn't emphasize this earlier, but I would I would strongly uh, I would strongly recommend taking uh, taking some of the health upgrades, adrenaline, you know, increase your uh, increase your hit points. I, I would say adrenaline is one of the better ones because uh, it actually continues to increase your health every time you attack, so... Anyway, happened to kill all of the other enemies during that, during that fight, and my last hit was on Mother Miranda, so... As uh, soon as she was done, it was done. And that's triple S rank, so... So again, the key things there, you want to upgrade your Lemmy, you can get away with not upgrading the ammo capacity. Might not be, it might be more worthwhile, as I found, to actually conserve that money and uh, put it towards buying the... Wolf's Bane, and then the Grenade Launcher. Get a complete combo, every enemy from beginning to end in areas 1 and 2. That, combined with your completion bonus, you'll be, you'll be very solid going into area 3. You'll be, it'll be hard to not get the triple S rank, I think, at that point, unless you just play absolutely terribly, or miss the completion bonus, or something like that. I mean, still, obviously, still try to get uh, whatever, whatever combos you can, but I'm, I'm also going to add... It's very worthwhile to get some to get some health upgrades. It is very easy to get cornered, and I mean, it's tempting to say, "Hey, be a super gamer, just don't get hit." Let's not pretend that it's easy to not get hit here. The enemies are tough to take down. They t they swarm you. They are not shy. They're aggressive. So uh, healing and health in this one is actually, uh, you know, I I it's not something I emphasized for any of the other level twos, but. Uh, for this one, uh, it's definitely worthwhile. The other thing, make sure you have one power weapon in addition to your Lemmy and uh, use it sparingly, use it strategically. Uh, keep it in mind, you know, when you have tough enemies coming up that you need to take down with your Wolf Spain or your Grenade Launcher. Other than that, it just takes practice, learning the level, learning how the enemies spawn in, learning all of that. Oh, and uh, speed upgrade too. Get a speed upgrade, although I would argue in this case, it's more important as for keeping you alive rather than rather than for the time bonus. But the time bonus is, of course, good as well. But I ended with almost one and a half million points. And, and you saw earlier that I got triple S rank with just over a million points. So I actually played here way better than I had to to get the triple S rank. But I'd be curious to know what my score would be if I had done it without the speed upgrade. I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that, though. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this helpful and that it helps you achieve the triple S rank in all of all of the different mercenaries levels. I have videos like this for all of the mercenaries levels, you know, all of the stages, both levels one and two, uh, as well as a bunch of other walkthroughs for for the story portion of the game please do slam the like button if you found this helpful leave comments below if you have any other helpful strategies that might help people of course subscribe for tons more content this is ash for the triple s league and i will talk to you again soon thanks so much for watching don't forget to like sub and hit that notification bell and then check out some of these other videos find the link to our discord server and other important stuff in the description below